hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is favor if this is your first time here thank you so much for coming here today please click the subscribe button so you can join the fam and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming here when i post new videos so guys in today's video i'm just gonna be showing you guys how i make zobo you guys zobo brings back lots of memories i used to love it so much when i was younger and for some weird reasons i thought you know it took a whole lot of effort to make zobo but guys you can make zobo with just three things okay like pretty much ginger pineapple and your hibiscus leaves like those are the three main ingredients for zobo like if you have those you're good okay like once you have a pineapple you have ginger and you have um the hibiscus leaf like you're good okay of course you need water anyways but <laughs> but yeah pretty much three ingredients like those are the main ingredients like i don't know but i just thought you needed a whole lot of things and because of that i just always assumed like yeah he was one of those drinks okay but no like come closer i'm gonna be sharing the secret with you guys because why not okay you guys are my people now so i just have to share it with you guys but for the purpose of this video i'm just gonna be showing you guys how i make my zobo with whatever ingredients i have at home okay so if you want to know how i make the zobo drink just keep on watching okay <laughs> for this recipe you don't need so much right here i just have hibiscus leaves and this has already been dried i have about two cups here i also have some ginger and this is what i have at home so i'm going to be using that and then also you need pineapple for me pineapple is one of the main ingredients that you need and it also serves as a sweetener okay if you want to use artificial flavoring you're very free to do that or if you just want to use normal sugar you can do that but yeah i'm gonna take you guys through the whole process okay so for this you would also need a knife because you need something to um cut the ginger and also to cut the pineapple you also need a blender to blend the pineapple again it's up to you you can freestyle it however you want so i forgot to show you guys this is the hibiscus flower or hibiscus leaf that i'm gonna be using for this this was already pre-packed and i believe it has been washed so i wouldn't have to do so much washing i will just rinse it and boil okay so now i'm just gonna cut the pineapple i've never been that person to know um, when a pineapple is ripe so <laughs> i was just praying that this is ripe okay so i'm just going to go ahead to peel the back of the pineapple some people at the back when making their zobo drink but for this recipe i'm not going to be using that so at this stage i had already thrown away the back of the pineapple and then i rinsed my chopping board and knife and then i'm just going to go ahead to dice the pineapple into smaller bits So you might notice that I have two plates and that's because I'm separating the pineapple into two parts. I will be blending the softer ones while I boil the other part of it. So you see this part right here? This is the part that I'm going to boil. So I'm just going to dice it into smaller bits and then it's going to be ready to go into the pot. I have some hot water in the pot right here and I'm just going to go ahead to add the hibiscus leaves. I would leave that to boil for about 10 minutes before I add in the pineapple and the ginger. While this is boiling, I will go ahead to peel the ginger. So I sliced the ginger and I'm just going to be adding that. I stirred this and I noticed that it was already getting so thick. So I just added some more water. Then I left it to boil for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes of boiling, this is what it looks like. Next, I'm going to add the 
pineapple that I already blended and then I'll stir that then add some ground cinnamon I don't have any cinnamon sticks so this is what I'm going to be using and then I'm just going to let it boil for a few minutes so this has boiled for about an hour and it is ready right now but we cannot do anything until it's cool so I'm just going to put that aside and wait so next you want to sieve the drink you can do this twice just to ensure that it is properly sieved after doing that the next thing to do is to add your sweetener if you're going to be adding any form of artificial flavoring this is the time to do so but in my case i just added sugar and that was all the blend of all the ingredients actually gives the drink a natural nice taste so if you don't want to add any sweetener you are free to do so just enjoy your drink as you like but if you taste it and you don't like what you taste feel free to add your sweetener okay i'm just gonna pour out this extra part because we really don't need it once you're done adding your sweetener, you're pretty much done with your Zobo drink. All that's left is for you to put it in the fridge and allow it to cool down. Once it's cool enough to drink, you are good, okay? Like, enjoy your drink. This is what the final product looks like and I hope you try this out someday. So guys, we've come to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you still haven't subscribed, please don't forget to do so. And I would see you in my next video. But until then, stay safe and stay blessed. Bye.